Okay, today I'm going to show you a super quick demo of the UW OpenRoad Free45 flow, uh, which is a full RTL to GDS flow using the OpenRoad EDA tools to implement the design using the Free45 nanometer PDK technology. If we take a quick look, we can see that we have the design directory. For this demo, we don't have enough time to go into details about the design directory, but it is well documented in the README, and there are multiple example designs that are available as starting points for new designs. Uh, this design specifically is a single black pair at risk five core and should be available to download and run for yourself. We will start by downloading the flow from GitHub. Once downloaded, there are only two things we need to do before we're ready to start building the chip. First, we need to open up the makefile.setup and find the design dir environment variable to point it to the design that we want to build. The other thing we need to do is copy the PDK files into the PDK directory. We currently don't ship the flow with the PDK files. The readme has the links for where to obtain these files. And once you've put them in the PDK directory, you can run make prep and all the tools and PDK preparations will be performed. Uh, we're going to jump forward till when those are complete. We are going to go step by step through the flow for the demo, but if everything is set up correctly, you should be able to run the command make and it will build the full design. The very first thing we need to do is generate the SRAM models. To do this, we type make fake RAM. For this step, we'll be using BSG fake RAM to generate free 45 nanometer PDK compatible SRAM models. Once complete, the next step is going to be converting the design using BSG SV to V. Uh, to do this, type make SV to V. Uh, this will take our design and convert it to a format compatible with the rest of the EDA tools. Uh, this step does use commercial CAD tools, so if your design is already well formed for these EDA tools, uh, this step can be skipped and these commercial CAD tools are not required. After SV to V is synthesis, which can be executed by typing make synth, this is going to take uh, the RTL and translate it to a gate level netlist. Uh, from here on out, the steps take a little bit more time, so we'll be jumping forward to when these steps finish. All right, now that synthesis has completed, we'll move on to floor planning. This is run by typing make FP. This is going to do core cell placement, macro placement, like SRAMs, uh, top level pin port placements, as well as synthesizing the power network delivery. And now that floor planning is done, we will run placement by typing make place. Uh, this will perform detailed placement as well as placement legalization. Now that placement is completed, uh, it might be useful to actually open up the design and take a look at what it looks like. Uh, to do this, we'll run make view dot place you can actually view the design after any step, like floor planning onward. We'll take a look at a few steps along the way for this demo. Uh, so here we can see we have the place design. We can zoom to a small section and see the cells are nicely lined up in site rows and have been legalized. So we'll move on to clock tree synthesis. Uh, this can be done by running make CTS. This will generate the clock tree for the chip uh, so we'll be back when that finishes up. And now that clock tree synthesis is done, it is time to route the design. So we do that by running make route. Okay, great. Now the chip is routed. We'll open it up again real quick. We do this by running make view dot route. Um, I'll speed this up a bit. It takes a bit longer with all of the wires, but you can see as it loads and each layer renders, you can see the wires that it's placed. This flow does support running sign off DRC using a mentor graphic caliber. If you have access to this EDA tool, you can execute this by running make DRC, uh, and this will run a full sign off DRC deck. And once DRC is done, we can actually open up the GDS with the DRC database by running make view.drc. Uh, here we'll actually get two windows. The first one is the DRC results, and the second one behind it is the GDS file. We can hop back to the DRC results real quick and highlight all the DRCs. And if we look back at the GDS file, the DRCs are now highlighted. And that's it for the demo. 
Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to the team over at the Open Road Project for making this possible.